So this calculation is a percent error calculation. For x is small, and it's a percent ionization calculation. So two for the price of one. <coughs> so all you do for both of these is you take your x, so we're calculating the percent, so you take your x and put it over your initial concentration. And then it's of course percentage, so you multiply by 100%. And for the percent ionization, that's it. That's your percent ionization. Okay. For the x is small approximation, what you're doing is you're going to look to see how, how big the percent error is. If the percent is less than 5%, and I know how to do a percent sign. If it's less than 5%, it was a good approximation. If it's greater than 5%, what do you think that means? It's not good, so what do you think that means? It's bad, okay, so what do you think that means? So basically that means you can't do the x of small approximation. So you'd have to do the whole algebra, break out the quadratic formula. Yeah, I can see it on your eyes. You're excited about that. But that's what that means. It means it's just not small enough to do that, make that assumption. Okay? So let's check this one to see if we did a good approximation or we can use that x of small. So our x was 9.6 times 10 to the negative third, and our initial concentration was 0.2. Okay? So let's do this. So our percentage is what 9.6 times 10 to the negative third all over 0 0.200 0, 0, times 100 percent. Four point eight. Four point eight. Anybody like it? Like it? All right. Four point eight. So that's the uh, percent ionization for this acid, and it's also less than five percent. So, whew, oh, whew. Hey, that's a close one. Almost had to break out the quadratic. Four point eight. All right, so that's what you have to do to make sure it's a good approximation.